Let's go. Gregory, congratulations. Um, it's been a few minutes since your fight. How are you feeling physically? Uh, tired, man. <laughs> it was a very tough fight. You guys watch it. But, uh, man, I always am going to expect the best of my opponents. Brett Tavares is a warrior. He's a very tough guy. I can feel right now. But uh, I'm happy, man. Like, the happiness, nothing, no pain, nothing can take it out from me. Is, your, is, is everything okay with your knee or is it just sore? Uh, I'm going to check it probably, I don't know, I will be back home and then maybe some I'm all right, but I'm okay. I feel great, you know, like nothing, nothing serious. How did you feel about your performance? Oh, man, I was great, bro. Uh, I saw in each fight, I saw like how, how I improved myself inside the octagon, how I'm like, you know, feel Comf comfortable when I'm going inside that cage, and uh, and especially fight against guys like Brad, you know, with a lot of experience. And like I said, man, like fights a fight, numbers or experience. Of course, they he can use it there, but but that's not everything. And uh, and I see, you know, myself putting me in the in the in the good position right now. And uh, man, I'm I'm so grateful. I, you know, I'm I'm great for my coach. We did a a very good job. The camp was amazing. The game plan was really really good. You know, the changes, the levels, going down, takedowns. Brett Tavares have one of like I think I'm the best takedown defense inside the middleweight division. And then I <laughs> I took it like this, like nothing. I took him down, and uh, yeah, man, I'm. I'm great, and uh, just that's like, you know, um, show me I'm the right place with my whole team, and I'm grateful for that. Was the game plan to mix mix it up, like not just stand up, not just take him down, but just be a full mixed martial artist? Yeah, of course. Like I'm a I'm a mixed martial artist, you know. I'm a I'm I'm a complete fighter. I can't strike and I can't grapple. I can't do my jujitsu. Even my jiu-jitsu is my background, but uh, like I said, man, in every fight I can see how how much I improve myself, and I'm I'm happy with that. Not just with the win, but I say, oh man, look at what I can do, and I can do much much more, and that's that's nice. He 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 hit you in the first round. Um, were you hurt at all? Yeah, I, I fell. You know, um, he got me with the right. The good counter with his right hand. I was trying to follow him. That was not part of the game plan, <laughs> you know. I I suppose like cut the the ring, you know, the the octagon. But I would try to follow him, and he got me. And uh, I said, "Oh man, I step back, and then like recover. It's okay. You are Robocop, <laughs> you know." But uh, yeah, it was good, man. Like I like it. Would you say this this win is probably the biggest of your career, just because Brad Tavares? <laughs> He's been around the UFC for such a long time. Yeah, yeah, like every fight, you know, but especially that one. If you see uh, the way uh, Drico Duplessis did, he started with Brad and then he did his job, you know, to get the title. So I don't know what the UFC gonna, sh you know, offer me, but I I'm happy with everything they do. They do a really great job, but uh, I already show I belong at the top. And uh, my goal is to be a champion of this division. You know, I want to be the king of this division. And I'm just, just going to take my time. And I believe the UFC, you know, they already see that. And they're going to they're gonna offer me a, a good things. Do you think this win puts you into the top 15 rankings just because Brad was in the rankings for, for such a long time? I can say that, you know, I think you need to fight someone on the top. But uh, I believe he's gonna this this fight this win is gonna put me into a a very nice place. You finally said Rumble, Robo Obama 2024. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, let's go, Robo Obama man, come on, that's what you guys want. Let's go. Um, when 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 would you, when, when would you like to return? Do you want to fight in May in in Brazil or does it matter? 
Uh, man, I'm just going to take my time now. I need a little bit of uh, time off. I mean, enjoy my wife, my baby, recover. But uh, I want to two more fight this year. And uh, I will talk with my managers, my team, and we will see. And finally, uh, do you have a, an opinion on, on the Super Bowl? Do you even know who's, who's playing, it, playing in the Super Bowl tomorrow? Man, uh, I don't follow too much <laughs> the football. Football for me, man, was the soccer. You guys play, you guys say soccer, but it's a football. The real one. No, I, I'm kidding, man. Uh, I like the football, American football. Uh, 49ers is in the final, right? I think I thought one of the, uh, if they play the finals, I don't know if they win, but uh, I'm going to 49s. C congratulations. Thank you. For the football, soccer, who's your favorite team? <coughs> Man, uh, I don't follow too much, but I like Cruzeiro because of my, my father-in-law is Cruzeiro. I think Cruzeiro is a one good team. You follow La Celestial or no? Yeah, I, I like it. Man, I... I the last, the last World Cup I saw that was the great was 20, 2002 when the Brazil wins. I was like just a little kid, but uh, right after that, I'd never seen the, you know, the the good team like there was before. I hope they they can get back. Congratulations. Thank you, brother. Congrats on the on the Thank performance. You. That was fantastic. <coughs> I know that everybody's an expert online. If Greg keeps standing. You know, like it'll be trouble. He's better on the ground. Brad has a chance. But did you prove a point tonight that you have good boxing, just like you have good jujitsu? That you're a well-rounded guy and you're just evolving. Yeah, man. I train in everything. You know, I I see M M like MMA is already say is a mix of everything. So if you don't have it, a confidence to striking, maybe you're in the wrong the wrong sport. So yeah, I, I train everything. I spend a little while with Alex Pereira, and 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 um, that was a great time there. The the calf kicks working. He uh, he showed me that, and I uh, use it a little bit. But uh, yes, man, I, I'm I'm not afraid. No no one, you know. I'm I can strike with everyone, and I can grab with everyone. I can fight against anyone. So I, I believe in myself. Well, if you're in there with somebody that caliber, there, there, fear doesn't exist because it has to be a great thing to be able to train with a guy like that who's done it, been to the mountaintop, and can maybe give you that extra boost, that confidence to say, you can do it too. Let me, let me show you. Let's, let's work on something. Yeah, of course. But uh, it's not just him. I have that right, the guy right on the back, the silence assassin, man, Vicente Luque. They were my training partner for almost my whole camp, hit me beat me, and uh, he prepared myself. I have a great team. I have him, Gilbert Burns. I have Impa Kasanganai. I have Jason Jackson. I have so many guys, you know, they can test myself. I'm really, really good, really, really ready to fight. So I'm grateful to have all those, all those guys, Henry Hoof, Greg Johns, Michael Johnson just fought. We already show we are the best team in the world. So yeah, bro, I'm glad for that. And uh, like I said, we just we just started. That's excellent. Um, Thank you. The the progression continues. Your game, everything's evolving. I saw that you had great conditioning tonight. I got to see the fight in in the apex, and you were throwing some hard shots, like a lot of power punches. What have you Don't done to work on that conditioning? What have you done to to improve your good cardio to make it just great? Because you were throwing some hard shots, big bombs, yeah. all through the rounds, and I was like very impressed. Wow. Yeah. Um, I want to say a special thanks to all my team, do my conditional work, IHP and FHE. They had a great job. JC, Rio, all those guys, and uh, I'm ready to fight five rounds all the whole night. You know, I can grapple, punching, kicking. So, yeah, so those guys is responsible for that. They uh, do my conditional training. So thank you. Thank you, HP. Thank you, JC. Thank you, FHE. All you guys, I love you guys. We just showed tonight what we do. With, with Brad's performance, were you surprised at all that it was just like one punch? He wasn't committing to combinations. So that let you counter him pretty easy that he was just doing the one at a time, maybe a jab. <laughs> 
Uh, man, Bradley had a good time. Like his time inside the cage, you know, he's a kickboxer, so he throw one and expect you to throw another for him. And then he can count on you. So I just try to find the time to really, you know, hit him hard. But uh, your know, first round was back to back. Second round, and then I tried to use a little bit more my grappling. And the third round, I hear my corners. They said you just you know, throw your left, like just jab, don't do that. You start with your right. You start with the right hand, all one, two, and then you're gonna get him. And that's why I did. And then I opened the, you know, the 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 opportunity to finish the fight when I start with my right, because my right is a power, and I have the speed I needed. And then I saw he a little bit in the third round, a little tired, a little slow, and that was the perfect time to start my finish. Wonderful. Great job. Hope you enjoy this weekend in Vegas. How, how are you going to celebrate? Ah, uh, man, I celebrate with my wife. I'm going to FaceTime her, my baby. I'm celebrating with my, my, my friends. I'm going to pray. I'm going to thank you, my Lord, for everything. That's I'm going to celebrate because he's the reason I'm here. Well done, sir. Congratulations on the win. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. One quick one. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but weren't you supposed to fight Brad approximately a year ago and he had to pull out? <coughs> Was there extra motivation tonight for you to come, come, um, you know, fight him after waiting an entire year to be able to do so? Yeah, um, yeah, of course. Like when I when I uh, I finished Dennis, my last fight, and then the fight that just popped in my head was Brett Tavares. I said, man, I need to do this fight. You know, I need to path for that. And then, yeah, there was a. A special motiv you know motivation fighting him again and uh like you said that was a year ago and then now one season's over <laughs> and then a new one's gonna start it awesome thank you thank you thank you guys thank you, sir. that's it thank you appreciate it man i'm hungry i'm starting <laughs>